welcome back to Leslie Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how we're going to be making some mass making of um, some thank you cards. Um, these are more like notelets um, and these I use these when I send out my orders and also when I um, put it um, send out any swaps things like that and I have seriously run out so I thought you know kill two birds with one stone I'll do a challenge in my group to get people um, to have them in their sash while I'm doing it for myself and uh, the challenge is in Crafting Divas it's going on until the 15th of January so this might come out afterwards but these are the cards I've done so far but all say thank you and all in different scraps of paper and different embellishments which I've shown within the group things like that um, stuff I've had lying around so you know all got thank you and they're just like little note cards rather than actual cards um, you know I've just tried to use what I've got lying around on my desk mainly so I've got you know Disney Valentine's um, and now I've got part of my kit um, which I'll be I'll be using today um, and it's a short, short cake kit hasn't been released yet because I'm still waiting on a few things from Auntie Ali um, but no so that is um, what I what we're doing um, and I can't find a smaller stamp block don't know where it's gone to somewhere on my desk um, and seriously need to get some organ get some uh, more um, organization on here so first of all card blanks these are four by three um, I just thought these were a good size to write on the back and um, you know uh, and I'm trying to use up cardstock which I have got abundance on so I've got loads of uh, cream, different shades of cream. Um, I used to do wedding stationery and we used to say, Oh, can I have cream? And it's like, Oh, anything but cream, really, uh, because there's about 6,000 different variants of cream, but never mind. So, we're gonna have two of these. I've already cut some out, three done. Some of these are just slightly smaller um, because I didn't want to waste the card. So, doing that so the paper you need to trim it down to is um, three and a quarter now these are what I'm using now are my offcuts from when I've done cut down the six by six pieces of paper for the so these are six by five and a quarter I think um, so the measurements are three and a quarter by no three and three quarters by two and three quarters and then that's your two mats and you don't stick your stamp um, and then that's all you need I'm going to put get my heat in in ready so there will be a bit of a noise when I start doing some embossing but you don't have to do embossing um, it's totally up to you um, and these just give you a little bit of a border and the cream actually goes quite well with this set so that's what we're going to be doing next so I'm just going to grab my cards and then just stick double sided sticky tape down now this is my last of my sticky st double sided sticky tape until I can get towards some, some more from Auntie Ally um, and with this project going out and another one I will be um, running out of it so 
and I've run out of glue because I've done a fairly biggish project last night for a collaboration so and I've got a few more bits to do and I've about to change what I'm, of all, I was going to do to something that really doesn't need any any tape or of really any any size at the moment um, obviously it will need tape eventually but um, you know to to decorate it and stuff like that but I think I can get away with the bare bones for the collaboration but it'll give you the, the idea of what it is so and that will be fine so and I'm hoping that the post isn't going to be too long coming from Auntie Ali uh, the UK is back in a very severe lockdown because of this, this new strain of COVID. Um, my kids are off school now until February, but obviously they're home learning. Um, but they are classed as vulnerable, and I'm also a key worker by and I do by myself. So the option is for them, I can send them into school at any point, even if that's just for a couple of days a week or um, for the whole week you know and then they get tested weekly for Covid and you know so that is you know my option um, so yeah so I'm also waiting for the plumber to phone up to see when he can fix my hot water or my thermostat. I think my thermostat's gone still. So I think I talked on this about another on another mass make video. Um, so it's the same day. And I still haven't heard anything. Every time the phone goes, it's either the electrician or it's one of the schools. So you just literally pop your um, backing papers onto your your card. Um, and again, if you do this as a you know mass make one section at a time, you can do a lot of cards or a lot of envelope like you know one-sided notelet and these are good if you've got you know normally if you went away and you know you got somebody to house sit your plants or you know um anything like that but at the moment because everybody's stopped stopping inside it's or even if you just want to send a little thank you gift or a little thank you note um you know, um, yeah, because my dad has has basically been told he's got to go back into shielding, so he's not a happy bunny because he hasn't really seen any of the family. Well, he hasn't seen any family for over a year now. Um, I live too far away. I'm about five and a half, six hours away. Um, but my my two brothers they live closer. But they can't be bothered to um, to go and see him. So, and uh, there's only so much you can. He doesn't have Skype or anything like that. So, you know, a couple of phone calls a week seems a bit, a bit pointless. But I know, I know, not pointless. Um, you know, my daughter has. My daughter's at work as a key worker. She works in a nursing home. Apparently they've all got getting their jabs today, which is the, I want to say the 6th of January, or is it the 7th of January today? Uh, 
uh, the 7th of January. So, um, my dad was supposed to be getting his second job today, but that's been cancelled so we can have more of the first job going out to a lot more people. So, um, his doctor surgery has been apologising, but like he says, it's, you know, he was on the cards anyway, but he wanted to get his first jab out, you know, as soon as possible. And we've got two now, we've got the one from Belgium, and then we've got the one, the Oxford one. So there's two, two lots of jabs, different medication going out now. So, unfortunately, I am down the line, so are my children. So, but never mind. So you've got all your car bases done, and we are quite quick to do. Um, and then you just get your stamp. Now this is a old stamping up one. Um, I'm sure they have other thank you sets available, and, and you you can get thank you stamps from any major company. So I'm going to do this, and also I'm going to find a piece of paper. Um, so I can use the back of this envelope so I can pour my um, my embossing powder in. So I've got two. I've got a silver one and a silver pearl and a proper silver one. So I'm going to see what they look like. And I do quite like the embossing look. Um, and again, it's going back to that use what you have um, in your stash. Not that we're not saying not to go out and buy stuff. What we're, what we're saying is, um, you know, unless you have to or you can shop online, um, go out and, um, you know, shop your sash because I can tell you now if I went out into my shed I could get everything from washi tape to crepe paper to oh you name it I could get it really so it's that case of using what you have and you know yeah obviously go out and spend stuff spend your money but be a bit more um clever with it I think no because I technically don't need to buy any paper now until you know um 21 21 really but um obviously I buy digital sets which is okay because they're like latched onto the PC so they're not unless you actually download them you're not actually using using them you know they're not taking up space in your on your shelves which is one reason why I, I do like quite large digital papers but on the bad side is I forget which ones I've got so excuse your ears I'm just going to put on the heat tool
now with this silver. Ooh. Such a mess. Let's sit that back down. Um, this silver, like pearl silver, it's you can you can tell it's got like little glitter, but as you look at it, you know, I do quite like that. It's like a bit of a shiny one. So it depends on how much in your basically in your face you want them. Obviously on a on a dark piece of card that would look at the bottom. Really. So I might just do the normal silver for the rest of them because obviously I wanted to pop out more. But that's just my choice rather than anything else. So somebody's just giving me some money out in my PayPal account. Which is very nice of them, but I don't know who. It's not owed anything. But I have one been, like I said in my previous videos, I have one a couple of giveaways. So maybe, third time lucky, I've won another one. You never know, do you? Okay, so I do love, I'm, you know, it's one of those things you you know you've got all, all like you embossing and stuff like that and I I just forgot I had like this amount of embossing powders now don't get me wrong I've got um you know I, I've chucked a lot of embossing powders out um because um I just didn't like colours or anything like, like that so I am down to I would say a good half of what I had but the thing I like <coughs> the thing I love about embossing powders is they last so long you know you could do you know 200 of these and still have a bit of embossing powder back you know and I just find it's you know and the magic of it changing colour as well I love that <coughs> excuse me I don't think I'll ever get over the colour change from it Oops. I always replace my lid because not in my look I am um, <coughs> I'll um, spill it and it all melt again so excuse me while I pump the heat gun back on shows you how quick and the difference of you know two silver that's like silver pearl and then that's just plain silver how quick these um, turn out like so so I won't do the rest because obviously but I will do the rest off camera and I will post them onto the um, onto Instagram and through my shop. But I do have some counter some of my um, ephemera. So you know. Um, 
I don't mind it so much if it like overlaps a little bit of a word because you can get the gist of it and things like that so I don't mind doing that um, I will be making a little a couple of little, little boxes or little things just to put these cards in so and I'm going to rearrange my desk so I've got it I've got them on hand if I need to and things like that so and I'm going to just pop this little cat up so yeah so I think having thank you cards on hand um, are great and you can add these onto cards you know you can use this as a card topper as well so you know you don't have to just leave them as thank you cards you can you know you can upgrade them and things like that and you know um, some of these haven't printed out brilliantly that's why I'm sort of using them um, so but no, it's just yeah. So I'm gonna make a couple of box. I've gonna make a box for this. And uh, well, I say box is more like a little tray. Um, and something else which I think I've shown before, but I'll be doing again for mask making. So again, I think something like that just adds a little bit something to your happy mail that will be coming up in a further um, video so yeah so just have a look around see what you've got and see what you can use within your you know your own stuff obviously if you like the look at the strawberry shortcake kit then as soon as it's released just keep an eye on youtube because i'll be walking through i'll be showing you exactly what you get the kit and how much it will be and things like that um but yeah so Just, I just find you know the little you know you don't have to go out all on um, all out of these you know um, some of these things could very well and even with some of them which are in kits you know one or two might be missing an arm but they don't look too bad with missing limbs um you know i do my best 95 percent of the time they cut out absolutely fantastically um you know so just bear that in mind when you do get the kits So, you know, and they don't, honestly, they really, once you've got everything, like, sort of sorted, and you've got, um, things going, um, you know, once you've cut out all your papers, then you've done when you've stuck them down, doing your heating bossing or your stamping and then you know you go and do your um, sticking and then you do your you know getting the ephemera on it really doesn't take that long 
um, it's all about trying to do things in a order. It's a little bit like a production line, um, but I do think that they do have it does help doing things like that in one go because you're not chopping and changing and it's not going down and you're not um, Oh, what do you call this? You're not chopping and changing and you're not thinking, oh, I haven't, I can't do that because I haven't got that or I haven't got this. And it's like, well, you know, if you do it in all, all in one line and you know that you'll need something for your next step, it gives you a chance to get them all to that level and then go and find what you need. Um, that's how I do my kits. It's also how I do my normal crafting. If I'm on doing a Facebook Live and I'm doing embellishments, I, I won't do one or two. I will do a, you know, a good handful of them. So, you know, you can add um, your um, Nuvo drops now or your glitter and things like that so these are the few cards that we've made and um, I just think that they're really nice and really quick and if you have a few and you mix them up then you know you get you know Everybody, everybody gets a different card, and you know, <clears throat> and it just shows you different collections off as well, and what you've got and what you haven't got, and you know. So there's a few more added to my little stash of cards, and I'll go off and do the rest of them, and then I'll post these up on my Facebook page. And I've got automatically go on to Instagram. Um, so yeah, so keep an eye out for them. And um, thank you for watching another mass make. Thank you if you're playing along uh, with them. And um, um, much much appreciated. And I hope you're getting a little bit of um, stash um, built up as well. And uh, we will see you again very very soon. Okay, bye now.